Shalom, Ahab, Wa Baraka. First and foremost, call Halalai Hawa, Bahashim Hawashai, Bahashim Rukwa Kadash. I wanted to um, bring this out. Uh, it's kind of like a response to something I saw, a short I saw on YouTube. This, uh, this guy was talking about the Book of Enoch and how the, the daughters that had slept with the fallen angels, gave birth to the giants that were monsters, and the um, daughters who committed this crime were turned into sirens, which are mermaids. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> they really just don't know what it's talking about. You, you really, this is why people should do, like, study the basics. Be weaned from the, drawn from the, what is it, drawn from the breast and drawn, weaned from the breast, drawn from the milk. So, um, in other words, you should learn the basics first before you try to dabble into that kind of stuff. So, since I've read the book of Enoch multiple times, so when those daughters, as a curse, were turned into sirens, Let's put a spiritual eye on it for a minute, and let me explain to you what's going on. And let's bring it up to date, in fact. Let's bring it up to date. First of all, let me explain what a siren is, a mermaid. They put on this, they, they, they lure the sailors in, the men, with their beauty and their soft voice uh, that's uh, uh, almost hypnotizing, and they're just ultra beautiful. And then when the the, 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 the sailor or the, the man gets in close enough, she gets her hands on him. And by the time the man realizes it, it's too late, she sucks him into the water and she drowns him and he's destroyed. So, now that we know that that's what the job of the so-called mermaid is, let's go ahead and bring that into perspective since it's the book of Enoch with a spiritual eye. What that is saying since, <sighs> okay. <laughs> In this day and age, the fallen angels are the two thirds. They're men of Israel that fell out of the truth that the Most High isn't dealing with. They're fallen angels, he's not dealing with them so they're wicked. The, the daughters are the daughters of Zion. And they're messing around with these fallen angels. So what do they do? <laughs> this, is the, this is the crazy part. Because they give birth to monsters. And these kids, they go out and they're out. What do they do? They go out robbing all the Walmarts and Targets. And running up and down the streets like with no um, order. Doing, what do they call it, takeovers? They go and skirt up the street until somebody crashes a $100,000 car and they all film it like this is the greatest thing. These are monsters. So let's get back to the mermaid though. We know that the fallen angel is the man that refuses to follow in the ways of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. So he's fallen out of the truth, he's fallen out of grace, he's fallen out of life. We know that. The siren, we know that the, the monsters, let's go to the monsters, we know that that's the children that are born through these two, and they go out and cause nothing but destruction and corruption. Now let's get back to the mermaid, because this is the best part of this. The best part. I'm pretty sure this is what Enoch was talking about. These women, in this day and age, they'll put on enough makeup, first of all, just a cake on enough makeup to look like an entire different person. Then they'll put on fake hair. They'll put on fake eye color. Then they'll put fake eyelashes on. They'll put on fake nails. Then you got the Brazilian butt lift, the boob lift, the tummy tucks. You don't know what you're dealing with these days. These, and what, so this is the crazy thing. These women lure you in with this great beauty and this soft voice. And when they get their hands on you, they destroy you. They get their clutches into you. They, they turn you into the two-thirds pretty much because unless you're able to repent, which most people aren't, because they stick their hands in you and the first thing they pull out of you is child support. So they've got you for life. Even some of the prophets, even myself, 
the only way I was able to get out of that clutch is because the, the, the person, the most high put the spirit on somebody to set me free. That's all there is to it. But, so they put on all the makeup and they, they lure you in. Then they get their hands on you. By the time you realize that you're dealing with an evil demon, you know, before she takes the makeup off and you realize like, now this is the crazy part. Because it says that when the, the sailors would get close enough, he realized that they were dealing with these crazy, ugly witches that were demons. And this day and age, when these women take off their makeup, their hair, their eyelashes, their contacts, that's not even the, that the person that you're with is literally sitting on the counter. And now you're dealing with this fucking crazy, ugly fucking demon. And you're like, God damn! And I, you know we've all seen YouTube shorts of this. Um, exact thing that I'm talking about. So when, when it's talking about the mermaids in the book of Enoch, it's really funny, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about these evil ass demons these days that, that and maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong, but just think of it like this. They lured them in with their great beauty and their soft voices and their songs. And then when the guy got close enough, it was too late. He realized that that's not what he was looking for. He re they, they, they truly realized that this, um, this, this demon is underneath all of this uh, a mask, pretty much. You've been, you've been hypnotized into believing something that's not true. Now I'm going to talk too much more about it. But um, that's why we don't teach the book of Enoch anyway. It, it, it does have something to do with the, um, with the end times, just like when it says that uh, the people hate each other, but they work together. I mean, that's everybody from the government down to you guys being best friends with somebody and then calling up your other friend and talking shit about them behind their back. It, it, it all works out, but the problem is, is people don't study enough to actually understand what these books are really saying. So now we've got giants and mermaids and for all I know, pre-flood, who, who, who knows? Maybe that stuff did exist before the flood. How do I know? I, I don't know what, what um, I know that our God is capable of anything. But I know one thing. When you put a spiritual eye on it, and it really lines up with today, the kids being the monsters, the two-thirds being the fallen angels, and the two-thirds men, and then the women being like the siren with the fake everything to lure you in, and then they take off the makeup, and you realize you're dealing with a demon. It's crazy. But anyway, with that being said, um, if you got spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear the truth when it comes out, I pray that you got something out of this message, and it was uh, exhorting. Shalom.